What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here, and we are, well, not in Fallout 4, but this has everything to do with Fallout 4. Stay tuned. All right. Now, we are in, what we're looking at here is the creation kit. This is what makes all the mod magic happen. Well, at least for me it does. Some people use other tools like FO4 Edit, and I'm sure there's other tools out there. This is what I am using, and I am not an expert with this. But um, I've been asked to... <sighs> asked to fix the roofs in my latest mod in the uh, Fairline Hills uh, Estates Settlement. So here we are in Fairline Hills, and as you can see, everything's even the geodome is still there, you know, because I have it hidden or disabled rather. Um, so, uh, so in the game you don't see it. So um, I've been asked to fix the roofs, and I wanted to show you guys, kind of take you through the process of what I have to do to fix the roofs. It's not as simple as just, hey, let's just copy and paste and all that stuff. Uh, there's actually a lot more to it. I've already done, uh, yeah, here's the house. As you can see, I've already done one. And um, I haven't looked at this in game. I don't know what it looks like. It could look like absolute crap. But, um, but yeah, so there's uh, some patchwork that I did there. And uh, let's just uh, select that so that we can flip over to the other side. And I also fixed the uh, the garage. And um, so yeah, so I, w I wanted to show you guys um, what it entails to work in this system. Because most of you, I don't know, maybe all of you have watched videos of people working in the creation kit. Probably none of you have, or very few of you. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, what's involved with working with the creation kit. So we're going to come over to this house here. And since it doesn't have a garage, I mean, the carport's easy enough. Um, so we're going to fix this roof. Well, I'm going to at least take you through part of it because it's a time consuming process. It can be. And, um, so you may not want to, uh, watch the, however long it takes me. So I figured I would truncate it, maybe speed up some of the video here in the middle when I'm doing repetitive stuff, but give you guys an idea as to what I go through. And I'm going to say this, like I said, I am not an expert on the creation kit. I muddle my way through it and I figure crap out. If you guys know of a better way for me to do this, for the love of all things holy, put it down in the comment section so that I can get better as a modder because that's ultimately the goal. I want to give you guys the best mods possible. All right, so let's uh, get this tree section out of the way here so that we can navigate around and uh, not be... Um... Let's get rid of that one too. There we go. All right. So, and no, I didn't get rid of them. I'm just hiding them from view, uh, from the preview window. Okay, so here is our roof section. And here's what I have to work with. Let's uh, let's grab a piece of plywood here, and we're just going to drop that down there. There it is. All right, so this is the piece of plywood. Let me bring it up here. And you can see, in comparison to the roof, how big it is. Okay, not very big, let me tell you. Now, a couple different ways. I could open this tool and rotate all this stuff around this way and try and guess, you know, go, eh, that looks about right, you know, maybe this way a little bit. But this tool is not um, for fine tune. And again, if there's a keyboard shortcut that allows me to uh, manipulate that in a more finer detail, let me know. So, now what I want to actually do is lower this piece down so that I can put it in the roof to see, okay, what are my angles like and stuff like that. We'll, we'll come down here and we'll take a look. All right, so you can see kind of 
Okay, so there it's cutting into the roof a little bit. So, and we're, we're going to scale this thing up a little bit because we're going to put stuff on top of it so you won't notice it as much. And I don't know, again, it could look like absolute crap in the game, but for right now, this is my first test. So, um, okay, so now we're going to go into the edit here. Now here we can change these rotations, but it doesn't work the way you think it works. It works on a single set point, which I believe is probably going to be this corner. Uh, so if I click this rotation by one degree, yeah, see, it's actually, yeah. You can see kind of what a bitch this is. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm trying to do is get this thing roughly aligned. Find close. That'll give us a better... Here, let's just put the whole thing there. There we go. We'll scoot over, get in the middle of the screen, so we can see what the hell's going on. Ugh. See what the hell's going on. There we go. All right. So, we need to tilt it up more, but that doesn't seem to be up. There we go. As you can tell, it's a lot of trial and error on my part, and I'm sure that there is a better way to do this, but I have yet to figure that out. All right, so that is pretty damn close. I don't know that I could, I mean, uh, there's a small gap there, and I probably will fix that because, well, that's just how I am. All right. Okay, that one does nothing. Nope, not that one. It's going to be that one. Wow. Now, of course, I could change this. I could dial this down. Uh, we could say one-tenth of a degree. You know, and really kind of get in and fine-tune this thing. But as you can tell, it would take... It takes quite a while. But here's the, the one trick that I have learned... And that is, we're going to call that one good. Because now if I push this through, you see, it, it's still, it's off by just a little bit. So let's go ahead and continue to tweak that. Because once we get that dialed in, we can use these same rotations for everything that's on this side of the roof. So let's go ahead and take all of these down to uh, one-tenth. And now we will... See, that may have been it right there. Yeah, see, that's the wrong way. There's a lot of play there. And it won't let me move it, so I've got to get out of that stupid menu. There, all right. Get in here again, and if there's a way to leave this at point one, because I typically work in the smaller increments anyway, I'd much rather change it once or twice to the one than the point one all the damn time. So <clears throat> I'm always open to more suggestions. Let's, see, let's go. That. No, let's go. So it's centered that way. Nope. Now we've gone too far. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, it's beautiful outside. I mean, God, it is what? What is it? 70 degrees outside? Okay, no, that can't be right. Uh, it's got to be a little bit warmer than 70. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's very mild. Yeah, it's, <laughs> my phone has to update. There it is. Okay, 85. But, um, but I want to say it's not bad outside. So uh, that's always nice. Um, okay, so let's continue to tweak this until we get it as close as possible. 
See, when you tuned in, you didn't think you were going to be watching this, did you? But hey, it's still modding Fallout 4, you know? We're just actually in the mod tool. Alright, so let's, um, now I know I can swing around and take a look. And honestly, look, it's not even coming through the backside yet. We're going to call that good. Because otherwise I could be here all freaking day clicking on that. Alright, so here is our piece here. And let's back out a little bit here. And now I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger since it's kind of going to be like the underlayment. I don't think I want to go beyond like 1.5. Lower that down, a little too far. All right. So, now we have our first piece. Now, depending on how well they put these, align these roofs, I, again, I don't know what tools they're using, but this may not, yeah, see, it, it's kind of goofy, so. We will, uh, yeah, it looks like it's nailed on there. We're good with that. Okay, so I'm going to open this, and we're going to put it up here. Actually, no, we'll put it down here. Because the cell view, I'm not too worried about. The object view, or object window over here, is uh, definitely something that we're going to be playing with. All right, so uh, let's take a look at number 11 here. Ooh, that's a blue one. We'll definitely grab that. Put it over here. Okay, right click, go to edit, and then we're just going to literally copy all these rotations from one to the other. All right. Of course, there's still going to be this big gaping hole in the side, but you know what? I'm not worried about that. You guys can just live with that shit. <laughs> okay, so um, let's bring that up just there. Yep. Okay, so we got that. And now let's grab like a like a roof piece or something like that. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna type in roof. We know that our roof. Yeah, not what we're looking for. Now ah, here we go. We want the metal roof one to start. We'll grab that one. Okay, so here's our big old metal roof here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy all of these rotations and see how close we can get. And uh, we may want to zero out that last one, or not. Okay, bring that in here. Bring it down. Make sure we're even with the uh, the peak of the roof. So when we slide it back here. We want that one to kind of be on top of everything else. And we are so close to the peak, it's ridiculous. There we 
go. And right on the peak. All right. So there's our first roof piece. And then we'll grab another roof piece and we'll put it over here. And, and we could duplicate this piece. Like I could, oh, didn't mean to move it. I could uh, hit Control D and literally drag that over. And if we didn't want the pattern to be the same, then we could come in here, change this rotation to 90, then bump that. So at least we're getting a different pattern. And you know what? We may just do that for this one. <clears throat> for this side is one time. Come on. You'll have to forgive my computer. It's running uh, the uh, video editing software, or the, the video capture software. It's running the, uh, of course, it's running the creation kit, and it's also running audio capture. So it's working hard. All right. So there we go. We've got one more section here in the middle. So let's just grab another uh, roof section here. Let's go with this one. And that is our standard flat metal roof. So uh, let's see if that's going to fit. And if it's slightly on top, I'm okay with that too. Edit that. Copy these numbers over. Too bad, not too shabby, guys. Let's get that move there. Bring it up just a hair. There we go. All right. So, and it doesn't look like the other one over there. See, I went high, low, high, and then filled in with plywood. Uh, you know, up at the top. So. So let's unselect everything. We'll come back here and we'll take a look. Oh, well, I was gonna say, look at it from the ground, not under the ground. Yeah, you're gonna have that little gap right there. But uh, once we uh, enclose the other side of the roof, then you won't see the the daylight like that. And um, and you guys could always like grab like a like a flat wall, like a little half wall or something, and put it up in there if you really, really didn't want to see up in the attic space. So uh, that is the first half. Now we'll go ahead and um, do the second, and we're going to start this process all over again. Now, one thing that we can do: let's go ahead and grab this roof piece. We're going to duplicate it, drag it out here. Now I should be able to spin this thing around and get it close it, again because it's not precise with the the dragging there. Yeah, see we're 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 close but we're off. Oh yeah, we're off by a few degrees there. And you can see how pitched it is uh from front to back. So let's go ahead and get that fixed. See if we can't get this dialed in a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's looking better. That may be too much. So let's take this down to 0.25. Go the other way with it. All right. Let's, oh, sweet Lord, what did I do? Let's cancel that. And start over. And we'll adjust that. And that as well, just in case we need it. 
move that out of the way. That is looking really, really good. I will have to come up here and check our rotation. Our, our Z rotation, yeah, see it's off just a little bit, but that's all right. There we go. All right, so let's close out of that. Now we can take this thing and push it in. There we go. We'll neaten everything there. It's nice and tight. There may be a little clipping issue. Like if you got up on this roof, you may notice where it's doing the whole little shimmer thing where it's trying to process both of them. But we can always back that down just a hair. I think that that's golden. And, um, yeah, we're still a little... There's a little more wood showing here than there is down at the bottom. But, um... We'll see how it goes when we, uh... When we copy those settings over. And speaking of that, we can get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Um, okay. So now, um, let's grab one more, um... Trying to think, what was it? And of course, because I'm not using any um, any DLCs or anything associated with my mod, um, I don't have access to um, like the warehouse roofs and and stuff like that. Um, so because I didn't want to have to tie a settlement to a DLC, especially like Wasteland Workshop or something like that. Because not all of you may have that, and and I again I want to keep this as open to everyone as possible. Um, let's see, that's a red rocket. Um, this this NCA one looks great. I mean, hell, that may even be the right pitch. Problem is, is that it doesn't actually show up. Like if I go to place it in the world, it gives me like a little marker. But it doesn't actually show anywhere. Like, I don't see it. You know, it's not actually... Oh. Oh, shit. It's just way up here. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door. Well, we'll definitely be... Uh, see? <laughs> now notice... You can't see it from there. Which means that we'll have to put some plywood down so that if you're inside looking up, you're not looking at sky. You're looking at the plywood. But then we can put that over the top. And that may actually be pretty darn cool. So let's drag that down. Kind of uh, keep it in our, our vision here. And we'll just kind of put it over there. Oh, maybe not. That thing is huge. But we can also come in here and make it smaller. Again, I don't know what that's going to look like. That could look like total crap. Um, let's get it dialed in, though. Let's uh, edit it, and then we'll... And if you don't, if you guys ever do decide to use the creation kit, if you don't move this off of the the bigger window here, as soon as you click on the bigger window, it goes behind it, and then you have to move the bigger window. It's a real pain in the ass. So it, whenever you're working in, like, references or, or, like, little sub stuff, always make sure that uh, you drag it off to the side if you're going to click back on the main window. Just to save yourself some time. Actually, I don't know that, that rotation. I don't think that we need to change that. Um, let's see what this does. And it's probably not even that. Nope. It certainly is not that. But, um... Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. Let's 
to open this back up. Because we know that uh, that it's pretty much in the right spot, but it looks like we're about 90 degrees off. So let's adjust it that way. Nope, wrong way. There we go. And not quite. Okay, so let's take it down to one. Oop, a little too far there. All right, so now let's see what it looks like. Well, let's look at the, the pitch. Oh yeah, see, it's not. It's not what we thought it was, but that's okay. Let's um, see if we can make this right, huh? Okay, that didn't do what I wanted to do. I think we may have found it. Let's move it back up. All right. Oh. Okay. Don't be scary. Where in the hell did it go? There it is. All right. So. Rotation seems to be a little off. Is that... that rotation all right bring it back up to the surface it looks like we need to bump that up and we'll come over here oh. there we go oh yeah I like it all right so we'll definitely keep that we'll just move it over here to the side for now so now Let's come up here and grab some more plywood. And we'll just grab uh, whatever that one is there. And we will open up its settings. And then we will do the same for over here. God, that is so small compared to the roof pieces. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Really? Alright, so we'll slide that in there. Bring it up. Okay with it tucked just underneath the roof piece. That's fine too. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this piece and we're gonna move that over here, but we're not gonna leave it like that. What we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll adjust this by 90 degrees. Perfect. And then even from the inside. Yep. That'll 
be good. Okay, so now let's grab another. Actually, let's um, grab this one here. Oh, yeah. Nice and stained and dirty. All right, and we'll just use this piece here because it seems to be working. Yeah, I didn't realize until I started getting into this how small those pieces of plywood were. Alright. So let's put this over here since we're going to need it again. This one we're going to close. Oh, you bastard. I should have clicked OK. Oh well. Alright. Well, we already have this one, so we'll go ahead and get that in. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Bummer is that there's no rafters right there, so it's kind of, from an actual building standpoint, it's kind of goofy. But no, I am not building rafters in there either. Off by just a little bit, I'd say. What do you guys think? Now that that's in place, let's go ahead and edit that. See, this is like a this was like a like a tile or a smaller piece. So that it's really going to matter. Oh, come on. Okay. I was like, oh, sweet lord. Let's reverse that by 180 degrees. There. All right. So now how big is this? We shrunk that down, didn't we? We could make it the same. Yeah, see, now that we're dealing with that plywood, my angles quite aren't right. So let's go ahead and fix that before we get anything else going. It needs to tilt. There needs to be a fourth way. <laughs> as I stand here, or as I sit here making motions with my hand. All right, so let's uh, dial that down and maybe try rotating it that way. See, but it doesn't look like shingles. Maybe we won't go with this. 
I was hoping it would look like shingles, but it looks like stone. Nah, I don't like it. We get rid of it. All right, see? That's what I deal with. All right, so I have gone on way longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to give you guys an idea as to what I go through when you say, hey, uh, can, can you just, uh, I don't know, fix all the roofs in, in the whole settlement? Okay, there's like six houses. And... um and then not only just the roof of the house, but you got garages and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, huh, give me a little bit of a break here. You know, I, I did decide to fix the roofs because I actually played with it for a few hours in game. And nothing that I could do made any sense for fixing the roofs. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and fix the roofs. But... I'm offering this up. This will be a separate mod than the one that's already been launched. So uh, it's not going to be a patch. It's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be its own standalone. Of course, it still has everything that the other one does. I literally made a copy of the existing one that's already been launched. And it's in the copy that I'm making all of these adjustments, which reminds me I should probably come up here and save. Um, close all, oh, sorry, excuse me. All right, let's close that out. All right, and notice, see, Fairline Hill Draco underscore roof repaired. So, um, so yeah, so stay tuned in the next couple of days. It'll all depend on how much time, um, I can devote to fixing all of these roofs. Um, but I will get it, uh, out, and of course I'm going to take it in game and uh, make sure that it looks all right because I don't want to. Um, I don't want you guys to have to deal with a crappy, um, uh, a crappy roof. Now, you want to know the kicker? You want to know the real pain in the ass? Watch this. We'll show you real quick, and then we'll get out of here. House K. That's what all these houses are. They're from the House K section. So let's find the roof for House K over here and we will see that um, add-on and four-way intact okay so let's just go ahead and drop that down there okay and we're gonna bring it up so you can see it it's the full roof it's all intact the problem is, is it doesn't fit on any of these houses if I adjust the scale it becomes too long otherwise it's too narrow and it doesn't fit side to side. So, <laughs> and I'm not going into a 3D modeler because, well, I don't have that kind of software um, to fix this. And then it would be an outside asset and everyone on PS4 wouldn't be able to use it. So, um, I can only deal with the tools that are in Creation Kit. But yeah, there's the roof. Fully intact. That's it. It would be so nice and trust me, I tried to just grab that thing and just plop it right on there. Just bam. There you go, there's your new roof. But um, but yeah, it's either too long or too short. No, it's not too short. It's, it, it's the right length right there, but it's too narrow at that point, which means that as you look up on the sides of the house, you know, over here and over here, you'd see daylight. So if I adjust the scale so that it fits side to side, then it's too long and the front and the back don't match up. So, um, I don't know. I may try working with this and try throwing in some like trim piece to go across, you know, like over here on the front of this house to cover up the, the, the big gap because this getting this right is a whole hell of a lot easier than, um, <laughs> than doing all of this. I mean, because all I need is like this side, this this floor section. I can get its rotation out of its properties, and then I assign that rotation uh, degrees to the roof, and it's perfect. And then I just have to adjust height and make sure that it's parked. You know, so this would be a much easier fix. And again, I may 
tweak with it some more, dealing with trim and stuff like that. But I think the work that I've already done, I'm going to uh, keep all of this stuff and I'll finish off this roof, obviously. Um, but um, but I may tweak it like on this house or something like that. I may play with that, uh, the intact roof a little bit more uh, after I had that idea of using a trim piece or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was drastically different uh, than uh, my normal Fallout 4 videos. But um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of perspective as to what it's like working in the creation kit. If you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video. I, I really, really appreciate every like that I get. I even appreciate those that uh, if no one is watching this is going to click dislike. It's uh, They click onto the video and click dislike because they have a personal problem with me. Because no one has ever come forward and said, I don't like what you did in this video and that's why I gave it a dislike. They are disliking. because So if you see a dislike, know that it's just because they have a problem with me. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay if they think that I did a crappy job in the video. But tell me what I did wrong. But anyway, yeah, like if you're new to the channel, click on subscribe, click the bell notification so that uh, you get notification or the bell icon so you get notifications the next time I post a video. And until next time, Wastelanders, take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.